today we will discuss stretch reflex stretch reflex is also known as myotactic reflex now what is a reflex reflex is an involuntary response to a stimulus the reflex arc consist of receptor afferent neuron interneuron effector neuron and a effector organ in spinal segment the dorsal horn contains the afferent neuron which are sensory inputs and the ventral horn contains the effector neuron which are motor outputs this is known as bell magendi law stretch reflex is a monosynaptic reflex that is it involves only one synapse the classic example of it is a knee jerk where when we stretch the quadriceps muscles it gives a response by contraction whenever a skeletal muscle is stretched it responds by contracting and it becomes shorter and stiff this happens because it contains muscle spindle which are located within the main muscle mass the structure of muscle spindle contains specialized muscle fibers within the muscle spindle these are known as intrafusion muscle fibers whereas the fibers of the muscle itself are known as extrafusion fibers the muscle spindle contains intrafusion fiber which runs to the extrafusion fiber the intrafusion fibers are of two types nuclear back fibers and nuclear chain fibers the nuclear back fibers are called such because they have a bulge in the center and they are of two types mainly dynamic nuclear back fibers and static nuclear back fibers whereas nuclear chain fibers are straight and shorter than nuclear back fibers the nuclear back fibers are two or three per spindle whereas the nuclear chain fibers are four or more per spindle in case of intrafusion fibers the central part of these fibers is sensitive to stretch it does not contain contractile proteins whereas the peripheral part of the intrafusion fibers contains the contractile protein there is both sensory and motor innervation to the intrafusion fibers of the muscle spindle in case of nuclear back and nuclear chain fibers the central portion of it is innervated by sensory nerves here the sensory nerves spiral around the nuclear back portion and in case of nuclear chain also it spirals around the central portion the sensory innervation this is of 1a or a alpha type 1a or a alpha type this is known as primary endings and due to its structure it is known as annular spiral fibers also the static fiber contains secondary innervation which is known as flower spray ending which is type 2 or a beta type this type of innervation is also present in the nuclear chain fibers this is the overall primary and secondary sensory innervation of the intrafusion fibers in case of motor innervation there are a gamma motor fibers or fusi motor or leg cell difference to both nuclear chain and nuclear back fibers in case of dynamic nuclear back fibers these are plate endings and in case of static nuclear back fibers these are trail ending gamma effects the afferent 1a fibers are sensitive to velocity of change in movement they provide information about the speed of the movement and allow us for corrective changes this is known as dynamic response whereas the steady state of 
secondary and one a fibers that is fiber 2 and one a fibers provide information about the static state or the tonic state of the muscle this is known as static 